So it's tied to knowing your true identity. It's really important that we're not deceived by what's happening around us, that we're not blind. You know, the media and the government will have you to believe that the economy is doing well. They'll have you to believe that jobs are becoming more available and that the, 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 the world that we're living now is a better place than it was years ago. Don't be deceived by this. We are living in a terrible time for the, for the nations of the world. There is no peace and there is no danger. And it's gonna get worse and it's getting worse. And even right now as we speak, it is worse than it has been ever. And during this time, one thing that is very important is that you know your identity. So verse 4 of Isaiah 51. Listen to me, my people. Hear me, Israel. For my law will be proclaimed, and my justice will become a light to the nations. Listen to this one, verse 5. My mercy and justice are coming soon. Salvation is on the way. My strong arm will bring justice to the nations. All distant lands will look to me and wait in hope for my powerful arm. Look up to the skies above and gaze down on the earth below, for the skies will disappear like smoke and the earth will wear out like a piece of clothing. The people of the earth will die like flies, but my salvation lasts forever. My righteous rule will never end. Listen to me, you who know right from wrong, you who cherish my law in your heart. Do not be afraid of people's scorn, nor fear their insults. For the moth will devour them as it devours clothing. The worm will eat at them as it eats wool. But my righteousness will last forever. My salvation will continue from generation to generation. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. We're living in this time that is so critical. Some people, they will commit all their strength, you know, to, to have material things, and there's nothing wrong with that. Because we've got to live in, in this earth. But so as long as you know that what you're working for will pass away. Don't ever put more energy into working for material things than you do working for God. 